Hello, this is Kate Birch, and it is December 12th in 2017, and this presentation is for the FHCI board members, for FHCI HP supervisors, and for FHCI HP family members and potential family members, and it's a presentation on homeoprophylaxis as a model of service under the umbrella of FHCI. So what we have, um, the problem that Free and Healthy Children International is focused on is looking at the current environment of vaccination and infectious disease prevention and wanting to offer another way with homeoprophylaxis is the current prevailing climate is the number of children with vaccine damage is increasing and there are people looking for alternatives and the role of FHCI is to um, promote the use of homeoprophylaxis that will improve and create sustainable immunological function for children. So we have three stakeholders in our, um, under our umbrella, and we want to, or we have created a model of access, and we're looking at um, what the needs are for each one of these stakeholders. We've got families wanting to keep their children healthy. There is a growing fear of vaccines, but still remains an uncertainty towards infectious disease. And yet there is a fear of standing out in the community for doing nothing or for doing vaccination or not, or homeoprophylaxis. And then we have our practitioners who have an ever-growing understanding of homeoprophylaxis, what Free and Healthy Children offers to these Practitioners is support and supervision, and we've offered, created a platform of delivery. There are some practitioners that feel alone in their practice, and a number of practitioners who are with or not with us doing different protocols. We wanted to have a unique, um, a common protocol that everyone's providing. And then there's a variety of state licensing issues that are there for um, our supervisors to tend with. And then from the board, we have a central form of governance that oversees administration of the program, support of the practitioners, um, holds the mechanism of access to the HP program, looks at epidemiological situations, our communication channels, state and international issues, professional connections, fiscal viability, and legal issues. So these are the stakeholders in this arrangement that we have. The existing model for FHCI has been with a director and then a board and HP supervisors and HP family members. And as a small organization, this construct was efficient, um, but then as the, and under this construct, we developed the research, we have our 5013C3 status, we have our membership platform for both the supervisors and family members, our ethic review procedure, adverse events reporting procedure, educational forums for people to learn about homeoprophylaxis, our social media, and interface with the professional community and some international expansion. However, as FHCI has grown, the existing model is not sustainable. And most particularly, it's not sustainable for there to be a single leader or director. And therefore, the board remains um, inappropriately or not effectively sustained. And then there's our communication channels out to our supervisors. As that continues to grow, there's less and less energy for them. And then our HP families um, are under supported 
because maybe the supervisors don't get the support that they're needing and all of that. However, on this, under this model, we have 81 registered supervisors, Oops. Um, but we have 136 inactive for a variety of reasons. Since July, we've registered 86 new families, and that's about 150 children. Of the previous families from 2009 until now, 98 of them have registered with us, and some of those families are in the research, so we have 658 children in research. But as the past director, I realized that something new needed to happen as my own ability to be um, to manage everything that was coming at and then um, seeing the ever expanding needs in all these different places and how to um, the director position has re remained open for six months and not finding a director has called upon me to look for another avenue here. So I have pursued the Theory U model of creating the best future possibility, and this is a diagram of this model. It's from a MIT X edX ULAB course, and it's a process of moving through observation and redirecting energy, seeing things, sensing, and presencing into what really needs to come forward. And um, it's been a process on myself. And then at some point, things become clear and you begin to prototype um, a new model, which is um, wanting to come forward just out of the nature of all the different aspects of what we've got going on. So the questions that we want to answer, questions that we want to answer with our new model or even our existing model is how do families find HP and does it satisfy what they're looking for? How do we continue to support those families and how do we support communities in understanding HP? How do we support all of our HP supervisors to be successfully engaged in their community of families? And how do we sustain our board to manage the ever-expanding needs that are there? Part of this process is looking at, is our head in the right place? Like, do we have a full understanding of what we need to do? Are our hearts in the right place and our hands in the right place? And this is for all of us. You know, there are parents that want this. There are supervisors that want this. But how come it is that we have, you know, there's 3 million children in the United States with autism, and we have just under 1,000 children doing homeoprophylaxis. How can we become all that we want to be in the face of this situation? And... This is a social technology, this prototyping, and how to bring forth what wants to come forth if this is the future that we want to participate in. And the first place that we need to look at is inside of ourselves of how we are participating. What is our individual motivation and passion? Are we individually aligned in our collective intentions? If so, then our involvement creates a potent field of possibilities that can manifest the future. And the degree to which we are aligned in ourselves and orient ourselves to the work is equal to the success of the venture. So we want to ask the question, do we actually need a different model for disease prevention? Do we understand what HP has to offer? Are we willing to step out of the norm? Do we feel confident and knowledgeable to provide this? And do we have the skill set to serve the community in this way? And these are all questions that we need to ask ourselves as board members. Do we actually even know what we're doing, you know, um, as HP supervisors and even the families that want homeoprophylaxis 
Is that something that, do they have enough information about it? So we're adapting to the landscape of a grassroots movement, which is moving all around the world where there's a breakdown of hierarchical structures. Hierarchical structures are becoming less and less effective, whereas circular communities are becoming more instrumental in the social field here. So what I'm proposing is a focusing on how the board interacts with the HP supervisors and the HP family members, and this is the model that we're looking at. We have 12 members, and there are three years of term, and basically these years of term have been staggered. And the th first year we would call the apprentice level, which is you're new on the board and you're just learning the ropes. The second year would be called the advocate level, where at this point you kind of, you really know what's going on and um, you're beginning to apply the work to come forth. And then the third level would be the coordinators and each year it would change and the new board members would fill in the places on the outer ring as they each mature up the levels and that would give the opportunity for the third level of coordinations once they finish that term to actually leave the board or get recycled to the outer level. So this way we have a continual uh, source of new energy and then the board itself is um, there's interactions between all members on the board, some kind of buddy system, and we actually, even though we have our individual jobs, that we have a relationship with each other that strengthens and so that each, so if one person leaves, the board isn't left with a vacuum that needs to be filled, that there is um, some overlap in the knowledge on the board and shared, and from that place, we are then able to reach out into our larger community. The same is the board is there, then we have our hubs of HP supervisors, and there is communication between um, these hubs of HP supervisors, and within that individual hub are the senior supervisors, the ones that have had longer time in practice, and we have new HP supervisors joining in and um, some outreach into potential supervisors, like how can we make our organization grow? And from this place, we then reach out into our community from the board to the supervisors, to the supervisors, to the families. And we've got regional self-governance of, um, circle hub of HP supervisors, which are the blue ones, and the purple ones are the HP families joined on with those supervisors. Local education initiatives to talk with the families, and it can be done collectively within those hubs, that there needs to be more work to develop the interrelationships between those HP supervisors. And families will join on with the supervisors, and then from this hub, there's feedback coming collectively to the board um, about what needs to happen more in that community or that. And it's a two-way street. The board is then able to communicate out. And then those HP families in the community are able to network out into their friends and say, oh, this is what I'm doing, and so on and so forth. And eventually, maybe some of those in the community might become homeopaths or then might future um, become future HP supervisors. So this funnel of awareness to advocacy is something that will be on a grassroots level continually perpetuating. And then there will always be a perpetual emerging leadership from those groups. The first goal is to give children the gift of HP and support families in that process. 
then to maintain our educational standards to support the HP supervisors. And from the HP supervisor community will become natural leaders based on how they've actually interfaced in their community. And that will propel them upward through service back to um, community. They become the local experts and then will be able to emerge up into service on the board and have that be a part of their um, maturation into supervisors is into maturation onto the board. And then the three year funnel of service on the board back to the community, which in turn matures those supervisors even more and the community they serve. And there will always be a new um, burst of fresh energy to implement those ideas. So with these ideas in mind, our first agenda would to be create greater interconnectedness on the board. The second is to groom the next level board members from the mature HP supervisors to come fill in the outer ring, develop more connected relationships between the supervisors within their geographical hubs, support local education initiatives for the general public, and develop channels of feedback back from our family members to their supervisors back to the board and support all to be leaders in their own community. Our primary goal would then therefore to be to strengthen the infrastructure on the board to be reflexive to this feedback. We must ask the question, what is the condition of the social field and is it ripe for this work to manifest? And if so, are we poised, FHCI is poised to develop this infrastructure, but each one of us in our own way needs to attend to um, their part in it in order for it to come forward. So this is the initial drawing that I made as I prototyped this. And um, from Margaret Mead, we want to just say, never doubt that a small group of committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, nothing ever has, or that's the only thing that ever has, but, and if not us, then who? So I want to leave you with that, and thank you for your participation.